and today we are at the Women's March against President Donald Trump's UK state visit. Uh, the march is put on by the same women who organised the 2017 Women's March. Women are turning out today to protest against Trump's policies on segregating families at borders, on an anti-abortion rhetoric and his general attitude to women. It is time that women take up action in terms of the choices they want to make about their body, the choices they have to make about development in the country. It's about time that women come as sisters, they come together in solidarity to create the change that you want to see. Because women have no borders, we experience the same kind of discrimination. When women come together, they move the world. My country is highly patriarchal society and we have 98 percent of our girls are cut. To, they go through this horrific practice, traditional practice called FGM. For us, those practices to be stopped, we need the leaders of the world, like American leaders, to stand for the rights of a woman. Violation against women is a crime against humanity and it needs to be stopped. Uh, we're here at the start of the march, um, uh, the Women's March, uh, with a huge thank you card that uh, women and men are signing to show their appreciation for uh, how Donald Trump has galvanised and united women and men all around the world really um, to protest his politics of division and hate. Well, I think that Donald Trump is not doing the right thing and so I'm thinking that we should stand up to bullies. I'm a tiny bit nervous, but uh, uh, I feel absolutely good about me being here. today because I just don't think I could look Linus in the eye in 10, 15, 20 years time when he said, so like, I was alive then, what, what did you do while this was all going on? And me say, we went to soft play. <laughs> I feel like I have to have my voice heard that this is not an okay to run a country and it's not an okay way for our country to respond. <laughs> I'm here because um, I believe in standing up against division and hatred and I'd rather be a virtue signal than have no virtue at all. These marches are not about hatred, they're about love, they're about showing that this is more powerful than hatred and you know there are lots of families here, there are children, we're just trying to say there is a decency to be had. The second march has now started behind me, the protesters will be making their way down to Trafalgar Square for a rally. Stop Trump Coalition rally. The sun's still out, there's hundreds of people here and there's a really jubilant mood. Today was a good day to be a Londoner. London hates Trump. Uh, it was wonderful to see so many people take to the streets, to see such a diverse mix of people take to the streets, uh, babies, families, older people. Today's been a real lesson in people power when things can feel quite hopeless. Uh, Trump, Brexit, uh, families separated at borders. Um, a day of, uh, with other people, with strangers on the street, coming out to raise their voices and to make a point is actually very um, heartening and quite powerful. And you realise that you're not alone in your frustration and your dismay. And actually, I've left today feeling quite hopeful.